them in a minute. Say, man, praise God. Give it honor to God and his darling son, Jesus, who is first in my life. Giving honor to our pastor, Reverend Larry T. Edwards, our under-shepherd, the under-shepherd of this flock, and to all my brothers and sisters in Christ, young and older. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I thank Pastor and I thank our Lord and Savior for this opportunity to say what God wants me to share with his people today. Amen. Now we know that today is the 10th anniversary of the infamous 9-11 in 2001, Amen. an incident where thousands of Americans and non-Americans died. Amen? Amen? And it's not only considered, but it is the worst tragedy on U.S. soil. Amen. 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 Many on that day asked the question, some still ask it today, where was God when this happened? And why did God allow this to happen? Right. You know, we go through stuff and we wonder, we wonder, you know, where is God? And why did he let this happen to me or my loved one? And then they say, if God really loves us, he wouldn't let this happen. Amen? Amen? Why would the Lord let this happen to so many innocent people? Yes. Well, I'm here to tell some and to remind others that God loves us. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And he shows his love all the time in so many ways. Oh, yes. So yes. the question is asked today, does Jesus love us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Does he love us? Yes, he does. This is something that's for the young, but also for the old. Because right. sometimes we wonder, does Jesus really love us? Amen. And I'm here to say, yes, yes. he does. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, on 9-11, there were many husbands that left their wives without giving them a hug yes. or a kiss or saying, I love you. There are many mothers who left their kids, sent them off to school. They didn't give them a hug or a kiss or say, I love you either. Amen? Amen. Many grandparents who maybe hadn't seen their, their grandkids for a while, and, you know, they, they didn't give them a call and say, this is granny, you know. Just want to say hi and say just how much I love you. Yes. I love you so much. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So they all left, assuming that they would see them the next day. They all left assuming that they would have the opportunity to say to their loved ones, I love you. They all just assumed that there would be a tomorrow. Well, how many of us know that tomorrow is not guaranteed to any of us? Amen? How many of us know that that love that is in us that comes from God needs to be shared every day? Because if you don't tell somebody how much you love them or show them how much you love them, they may never know. Amen. And you may never get a chance to say, I love you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you know the same is true with our God. He might know your heart and know that you got love in there, but if you don't tell God that you love him, he won't know it. If you don't show that you love him, he won't be able to bless 